Hey y'all, it's Ann from What's Up Family Home. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today is another fall crock pot palooza and it's hosted by Tiffany at Small Town 6 and Jessica from Jessica Myros. And we are bringing you some crock pot recipes. And make sure you go check out Jessica and Tiffany's channel and the playlist because there's going to be a lot of great channels in this collab. You'll get lots of fall recipes and ideas for your next crock pot meal. And I am using things out of my freezer. I've got two chicken dishes and a pork chop dish. And the pork chop dish is an all-in-one meal, a dump and go, one pot meal. That's all you gotta clean up is one pot. So, and it's really good. And they're all simple and easy meals, but so delicious. So. I will have all the information linked down below in the playlist, so I'll turn you around and let's get started. All right, y'all, tonight I am challenging myself, as you know, to make something out of my freezer, my inside freezer, and I found some chicken thighs. So I'm gonna make some slow cooker sesame chicken. And I've got honey here, I've got some soy sauce. I'm using the less sodium, and I've also got some garlic powder in there. I'm not using garlic cloves because I just don't ever have time. So I've got that. I've, it calls for a tablespoon of tomato paste, but I'm just going to eyeball it and just put some, try to put a teaspoon in there. I'm going to add my honey. I'm going to mix up the sauce. I did, oh, I didn't have, I don't have any non-stick spray, so I just poured some avocado oil in there and it came right out. That worked really good. So I'm going to mix this together. It does say you can add red pepper flakes, but I am not because I just can't handle that kind of heat. So I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm going to mix this together. I've got a fourth of an onion cut up down there in the crock pot. I've got, a, these were boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I cut up into bite-sized pieces. And I am going to pour that sauce over the chicken. Go ahead and stir that around. Okay, it says to sprinkle four tablespoons of cornstarch over the top. That's what I'm going to do. Stir that around really good. Make sure it's all stirred together and you don't see any of the, the cornstarch left. All right, I'm going to cover it and cook it on low for three to four hours. Okay, it's done. Oh, look at that. The house smells like a Chinese restaurant. This was so easy to put together. It took me about five minutes. The hardest thing was cutting up the chicken. I cannot wait to eat this. I know it's going to be delicious. So all I want to do is just make some minute rice to go with it. I'm just going to heat up the, the water. Put the rice in there in five minutes. That'll be ready to eat. Like I said, I'm trying to clean out the freezer and this was in there and this was left, what was left in the bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my pot and just put some water in there and steam up some of this broccoli to go with it. All right, y'all, I think I, if I were you and I did this recipe, I would add chicken broth because I think it's gonna be delicious over this rice. It makes a whole lot of sauce. I think when you when you just do it as is, it's not gonna make a whole lot of sauce. So I will do this again, definitely, and I will add more. I will add some chicken broth to it. So I've got my broccoli and my rice. And just the smell of this chicken, uh, I just know it's gonna be delicious. The sauce is amazing. Wish I had some other kind of vegetables to go with it, but all I got is the broccoli. So I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and put some broccoli in there too and pour my sauce over the top. Oh my goodness. This would be good probably with some lo mein too. That sauce on it. Mm. I'm just gonna take my big spoon. Just pour that 
over the top. Mm. It looks like something you would buy in the Chinese restaurant. Mm. Especially with the sauce. You could probably do beef if you wanted to in the sauce, but all that chicken broth definitely made this over the top. So, Y'all, this was one of the best chicken dishes I've ever made in the crock pot. Definitely make this and definitely double the recipe. And I'm going to go back in the freezer. I'm, I'm going to get some more of those boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And this time I'm going to make some barbecue chicken. I'm just going to dump it in the crock pot. It's, uh, it's still frozen. I don't have to defrost it or anything. And I'm going to add some spices to it. I'll add some garlic powder. You know, i got to have garlic powder and onion powder. There goes the onion powder. And I'm going to add some Lowry seasoning salt because I love that in any kind of barbecue. And I've got some minced onion that I'm going to throw in there because, you know, I love onion. And I'm also using two bottles of barbecue sauce that were already opened in the refrigerator. So I could go ahead and get those gone out of my refrigerator. And I just added a little bit of water to get some of that sauce out. So I'm just going to add that to the chicken. And I've got everything coated and I'll just turn it on high for about four to five hours and it'll be done. I've got mashed potatoes here. I thought about just making mashed potatoes, but I thought I wanted to do something different. So I'm going to make a loaded mashed potato casserole and I've got some sour cream. I'm going to add that. And I'm also going to add some bacon. I've got that frying right here and I'm going to chop that up and add that to the top. And then I'm going to add some garlic powder to the potatoes and the sour cream. I'll just mix that around. And then I've buttered this baking dish and added my potatoes. And I'll add the bacon. And I'm also going to add some cheddar jack or some cheddar, yeah, cheddar jack cheese that, I'm, that I shredded up. And some green onions. And I don't know why I never thought about making this before because it's so easy and so much easier than making a baked potato and you got to have that in the oven for an hour. So this was so good and so much quicker and easier than a loaded baked potato. So I'll definitely do this again. And I had some corn in the freezer that I needed to go ahead and use up. This is from a local farm and it's so good. So all you got to do is add some butter, salt and pepper to that. And I thought that would go good with barbecue chicken. All right, y'all, don't that look good? I put it under the broiler for just a minute. And look at these potatoes. They are smelling amazing. So I'm just going to top them with this green onion. And as soon as that corn gets heated up, we'll be ready for dinner. Y'all, this was just a warm and cozy meal. It was delicious, and you've definitely got to make this. All right, today I'm going to make some pork chops that are in the freezer. And these have been in there since June, so I figured that I would go ahead and make them today in the crock pot. And I've still got some ribs in there and some chicken wings. I am going to add to this recipe, this is a ranch pork chop recipe, but I'm going to add some vegetables. I've got some potatoes that I cut up, some green beans from my garden, and an onion that I cut up. And I did put some ranch powder, salt, and pepper in there, and also a little bit of lemon pepper. And I'm just going to mix that around. You can put any kind of seasoning in here you would like, but it is ranch pork chop, so you got to have ranch, I guess. So I've just got some chicken broth that I had extra that I'm going to add to the vegetables. I had that left over so I figured that that would give the vegetables a little bit more liquid to cook in. I've never made it before so I want to make sure that the vegetables get done. 
and now I'm going to go ahead and add the pork chops. They're still frozen, but it doesn't matter because they'll cook anyway. And I'm going to add one stick of butter. I cut it up just because the recipe cut theirs up. I don't know. You might could put the whole stick in there by itself. I don't think it would matter. It's going to melt anyway. And it says to add a packet of ranch dressing, but I didn't have a packet. I just have this big container. So I'm just going to use that. And then I'm going to add that chicken broth over the top just to make sure that those vegetables get cooked. I've never made this. I'm excited to try this. Especially when it's a one pot meal. And I'm just going to put the lid on and I'll turn it on high for about an hour and then I'll turn it on low for another couple of hours. Alright, it's done. It's smelling good in here, y'all. I'm just hoping that the vegetables are done. It looks like the pork chops are done. Oh yeah. Pork chops are done. Yeah, the potatoes are done. The fork went right through it. The It looks like the green beans are done. I am so excited <laughs> to have a one-pot meal. I don't have to make any other side dishes. And maybe I can get dinner on the table <laughs> before 8 o'clock at 6.40. That's a win for me. I'm usually scrambling at 8 o'clock. But this was really delicious. I'll definitely make this ranch pork chop again. I hope y'all enjoyed these recipes. They were so good. And especially I love these meals during the fall when it gets a little bit colder outside. You want some comfort food. So I really enjoyed all these meals. They were so good. And I want to thank Tiffany and Jessica for hosting. I'll have their channels linked down below as well as the playlist. Make sure you go check out Jessica and Tiffany's channel and the whole playlist because there's some great channels and I'm telling you, you'll get some great recipes. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next video.